Welcome to my channel. In today's quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create clean dummy tables for your research. I'll also share a couple of pro tips to make your workflow faster and cleaner. Dummy tables are shells of the final tables you'll use in your manuscript. It is created before analysis to predefine what results you plan to display. Let's get started. 1. Open Microsoft Word. 2. Go to Insert, then click Table and select Number of Rows and Columns. For this example, we will select 3 columns and 5 rows. You can always adjust this depending on your needs. If you need to add a fourth column later. On Windows, right-click anywhere in the table, hover over Insert, and then select Insert Columns to the right. On Mac, Control-click or right-click in the table, choose Insert, and then select Insert Columns to the right. And that's it, your new column appears instantly. To create a new row, just press the Tab button. Pro Tip 1. It's often easier to start with fewer columns and add more as needed, rather than deleting extra ones later. 3. Label headers clearly. O column 1, variable. O column 2, frequency. O column 3, percent. 4. Use borders lightly. Too many bold lines can make your table look cluttered, and most journals prefer a clean, minimal style. On Windows, click anywhere in your table, then go to the Table Design tab at the top. Choose a simple style, or manually adjust the borders by clicking borders and selecting which lines to keep or remove. On Mac, same steps, click on the table, go to Table Design, and then customize your borders under Borders and Shading. Pro Tip 2 If your journal requires APA format for tables, you'll typically need no vertical lines and only three horizontal lines, one above the column headers, one below them, and one at the bottom of the table. You can customize this using the Borders menu. 5. When entering categorical variables into your table, it's best practice to indent the categories underneath the main variable name. For example, if your variable is gender, the categories like male and female should be slightly indented beneath it. On Windows and Mac, click into the cell, then press the tab key or use the increase indent button in the toolbar to shift the text slightly to the right. Pro tip. Indenting your categories makes the table easier to read and clearly shows the relationship between variables and their subgroups, and most journals expect this kind of formatting. And that's it. Now you know how to set up dummy tables like a pro. If this helped you, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and drop a comment if you want me address any other research topic next time. See you in the next one.